Today I'm going to replace my 48 volt solenoid on my 1996 club cart, golf cart, and it's not going to be difficult. Over here I have, look to your right down here, I have a little small stack of tools and this little cool tray that actually covers covers everything up and you close the seat on it, but I, it's a good tool, tool holder when you're working. So you got the small one, which is a 1564th and a all right, yeah. And a half an inch and a nine sixteenths. And then a seven sixteenths. So first thing I did <coughs> I already took the positive lead off. Right there you can see it's off. There's my nut. You can see my nut just hanging there. Um the next thing I want to do is Sure we have a whole lot of slack on that so what I'll do is I'm going to take this loose from the firewall firewall I don't know why I'm thinking about a firewall I'm thinking about a car I guess it's not a firewall oh god that's I didn't expect that to be loose and wonky in there um the local golf cart dealership one of hundred and ten dollars for that I got off of uh, Amazon for 40 and I recommend going to Amazon I'm not an Amazon affiliate but I hey, people tell me all the time I should do that I just haven't done it <clears throat> I don't know how much it makes I can't imagine it makes much there's just not a lot of money in YouTube, but it just, it's fun. For me, it's fun. Okay. So I see now that um, this wire going to the battery is just kind of short. I mean, yes, they all go to the battery. This wire right here that goes to the motor is short. Be nice if I had clear hands so you could see through them, but I have big hands and they always get in the way. Let's get these two guys out from behind here because I, I guarantee you they're gonna they're gonna fall. And they may fall anyway. Alright, so we've got we got it loose here. And there's my positive lead. Let's, uh, let's back this one off. This may be a long video, but you can watch the video and do it yourself. Or you can take it down to the golf cart dealership and they'll charge you $110 for the cable. The cable. For the solenoid. And I don't know what their labor rate is, but I would imagine it's probably pretty stiff. They've got that kind of a markup on the On a solenoid, that's a big markup. We want to take all these wires off of here. And it will go here. How about some headbanger background rock music? Nah, I didn't think so. I don't like it either. I like music, but not when I'm working. A lot of times those commercials will come on that find more irritating than entertaining. I'm just stuck with that. And plus, uh, on YouTube, they you need to use their music or uh, 
You'll see you didn't have permission to use the music, so shut off your audio. And that means there's no narration. So those are, that's those wires there. Now that's what we need to do next. Get that little rubber cap over the, over there. I have another one of those rubber caps. I just realized. Nope, they're too big. Yeah, I think I'd be fine without it. So make sure you tighten these down. And crank down on them too hard because you will you can break them. And if you break them, that's not covered by warranty. They'll even tell you when you, you know, on the website when you buy this, that if you break that, that's yours. Uh, when you know it, haha, -ha. wrong size on that one, 1564. This one is a get some glasses on so I can another pair of glasses on so I can see. That's five sixteenths. It doesn't really matter about the size of these because yours is probably gonna be different, just like this was all different. That's a lot of wires on that one post right there. A lot. Looks like a crowd because there's they're so small, I guess. I don't know. Make sure you're well rested or you'll be dropping stuff. You don't want to be hunting down the little tiny washers and little tiny nuts. I was thinking about getting my hand out of the way of the camera so you could see this. And I wasn't focusing, did not focus on my little tiny wrench. Oops. Fragile. It seemed like it really, really fragile. <clears throat> oh, my little wrench is magnetized a little bit. Got 
let's get one off of here. that don't want that positive wire was just barely bumping the post a while ago and making a little arc and I don't like that makes me uncomfortable small yeah, but they don't have any replacements in case you lose them either imagine so many bolts going through such a little tiny wire a little tiny nut get the wire that's going to the motor to talk with the camera where it's sitting so I don't want to yell at you. you know, for all I know you might be trying to watch this at 2 o'clock in the morning while the kids are sleeping and you can't sleep or you got to get up or you got up real early and you want to watch this before you go to work so you can change yours when you get home from work and turn it up real loud and then you have somebody drop a tool and it goes bouncing across the floor and you go ah, man just woke my family up Drive it for a little bit and stop. And when I stop, it wouldn't take off again. Well, I thought it was because I wired the light up wrong. And I undid the light, and uh, that didn't make any changes. figured it's the solenoid so I was taking you know well the whole time of this video which is just not a lot of minutes to do this and I got it all done for forty dollars and I don't know maybe forty dollars and just under forty one bucks it's not hard I know wiring is scary to some people. It used to be to me too. I had a friend named David Johnson that lives down in Florida and he was a wiring genius, man. And I would just always leave it all to him, the wiring part, because he was so good at it. He could find a short anywhere. All right, now we got to put, make sure we got all the wires in there like we want them. And then put this on there, it's gonna spark. And then put these guys on here. Oh, God, that scares me every time. 
Reminds me of my first job out of school. I was working for J.C. Penney Automotive back when they had an automotive, and uh, I was putting a battery in. I should be taking my wedding ring off for this. I was putting a battery in, and I was working on the, the positive side like that. And and when I came over, my ring bumped against the metal, and this right here burned a big old chunk out of my senior ring. And ever since then, I've been a little bit jumpy. It was hot and painful. And remember my senior ring, which the senior ring meant a lot to me. Cause I graduated high school in three years. Wish I could have graduated college in three years. That would have been the bomb. And that's it. And you got some nuts left over from the old parts. And don't throw that away because you never know. We're going to take that one apart. Looks like it might come apart. We can take it apart and look at it. Maybe that'll be another video. All right. I appreciate y'all hanging with me. And, uh, oops, mosquitoes are getting me out of here. Oh, we got to take these bad boys out last week on a windy day. Tides were wrong, fish weren't biting, but we had a blast. All right, I'll see y'all soon. Thank you for hanging in there with me and watching. Hit that subscribe and like. Hit that like button. Man, that makes me so happy. Thanks a lot.